Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am very <laughs> pleased to join you for the launch of the new Climate Economy Report from the Global Commission on the Economy and Climate. Over the past four years, the Commission has helped to advance understanding of the links between economic prosperity, sustainable development, and climate change. It has shown that climate action and socio-economic progress are mutually supportive. Yet, despite some encouraging momentum, we are not making progress fast enough. Climate change is running faster than we are. The impacts are devastating, and it is usually the poorest and the most vulnerable who are hit first and worst by storms, floods, droughts, wildfires, and rising seas. Women and girls will suffer especially, as they are always the most disproportionately affected by disasters. And last year, climate-related disasters were responsible for thousands of deaths and $320 billion in losses. This year, we have seen the terrible flooding in Kerala, in India, savage wildfires in California and Canada, and dramatic warming in the Arctic that is affecting weather patterns across the Northern Hemisphere. There is a groundswell of climate awareness around the world that we must use to catalyze action by all actors, especially national governments. This report helps by showing the benefits of climate-friendly and climate-resilient growth. If we follow its lead, and if we do what science and common sense demand, we can still avert runaway climate change and achieve our sustainable development goals. That is what I will continue working towards, and I thank you very much for your extremely important contribution.